Namaste everybody. Welcome to Yogic Healing Heart. This is Chaitali Shari here and as you all know my YouTube channel is all about the ancient wisdoms which is a true medicine for the modern world. I am here today with the simple yet powerful pranayama technique which has no contraindications and anyone can practice this rather I say everyone must practice this and it is called as Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama is also called as the alternate nostril breathing and uh, this video is not only to show uh, how to perform Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama it is also to know the significance or the scientific reasoning behind Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. We know that the nostrils are separated by the septum only up to a few inches within the nose. After that there is a single airway till the lungs. How does it matter if we breathe through the left or the right nostril? Lungs receive the air the same way. But it has something to do with the energy pathways or the nadis before it reaches the lungs. To know that or to know the scientific reasoning or the secret behind Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, we need to know about the nasal cycle which our yogis recognized through their mindful observation. It seems 20 years ago scientific research proved theories behind Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. I love it when science proves what our yogis have known for centuries and what they have been teaching for centuries. You would have noticed most of the times only one of your nostril is fully open and the other is partially or fully blocked. It is because there is this inflation of a spongy tissue known as the erectile tissue present within the nose. This tissue follows a periodical cycle in its inflation pattern alternating between the right and the left nostrils and occasionally remaining at the center. Yogis had named these energy channels that represent the right nostril as Surya or the Pingala Nadi and the left nostril as the Chandra or the Ida Nadi. The right nadi is a surya nadi which heats the body and is linked to the left side activities of the brain, left brain activities and the left nostril is the chandra nadi and which is cooling in nature and it is linked to the right side activities of the brain. When there is a harmony attained between the sun and the moon energy channels, yogis said that the central energy channel called as the Sushumna Nadi will activate. You must know that Sushumna actually means Sukhamana that is the joyful mind. In case if you want to have the joyful mind, the cool and the calm and the composed mind all the time, then you must practice Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. In case if you find any one of your nostrils is uh, dominating or only one nostril is working all the time, that means it is a sign of imbalance or the ill health that we have. So by the regular practice of Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, we can bring the kind of equilibrium or we can balance the pranamaya kosha or balance the energies of the nadis. Now let's get started with the practice. For that to begin the practice you can sit in any comfortable meditative posture and the secondly you can keep your left hand you can place your left hand on the left thigh freely and your right hand you need to assume nasika mudra. If you're doing it for the first time nasika mudra is you show your right hand up and then fold your index and the middle finger and your thumb finger, ring finger and the little finger will stay up. This is called as Nasika Mudra. And when in this alternate nostril breathing, whenever we are closing the right nostril, we are going to use the right thumb and when we are closing the left nostril, you are going to use your ring finger and the little finger. This is how you are going to do it. In this pranayama, we are going to close our right nostril with the right thumb 
and then we are going to exhale through our left nostril for four counts and then inhale from the same then close your left nostril exhale from your right nostril and then inhale from the same and then exhale from the left and then inhale from the left this makes one round of nadi shuddhi pranayama sit up straight and nice keep your body keep your back always erect you can keep a pillow in case if you are not comfortable sitting uh, straight all the time so you can keep place a pillow and this is how you are going to do the practice adapt nasika mudra close your right nostril exhale for four inhale for four be gentle do not exert much pressure on your nose close your left nostril exhale from your right nostril for four then inhale from your right nostril for four now exhale from your left nostril for four counts this makes one round of nadi shuddhi pranayama let me show the practice once again place your left palm on the left thigh and adopt nasika mudra with the help of your right hand and close your right nostril and then you're going to exhale for four counts through your left nostril this is how you're going to do it and then you're going to inhale from the same nostril the left nostril for four counts now close your left nostril and exhale to your right for four counts now inhale for four counts from the same nostril close your right nostril and then exhale for four counts to your left nostril this becomes one round of nadi shuddhi pranayama to begin with you can have nine rounds in the morning and with your empty stomach i have already explained you the scientific reasoning behind the nadi shuddhi pranayama and it has got lot of uh, spiritual uh, benefits and it's going to remove the pranic energy blockages and it's going to bring a kind of balance between the ida and the pingala nadi so that the sushumna nadi is going to activate so that it's going to uh, lower the level of stress and the anxiety it's going to bring in a kind of clarity and uh, maintains our uh, calm and composed mind all i would like to say at the end is we can dedicate 10 minutes of our day to do uh, the pranayama or this breathing techniques and explore ourselves what are the benefits uh, we can achieve by practicing them so thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for uh, supporting me all the time bless me